Now they get set to kick it away. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Army offense onto the field now. A little bit of my turn, your turn in the early going here. Both offenses scoring touchdowns in the last possession. On first down, it's play action. Testing the defense with a throw downfield. The pass is intercepted. Tackled after a short return at the 19, but a huge takeaway in the red zone. Boy, great hands by the defender to take that ball away and pretty much steal it from the intended receiver. I don't know if I'd be targeting that defender very many more times. So the first play of the drive coming up here, under three minutes to play before half. The QB throws his third hook of the day. I'm going to tackle him right there, but that's a turnover. Well, your best player has got to make big plays in these kind of moments, and that's what happened right here with this defensive back. The offense in a tie game in the red zone, looking at points, and instead, the defense with the interception in a tie game, their offense now has the ball. They'll run it out of the shotgun and test the middle and get stuck. That is just not open for business today. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Pass caught. Can he get in? And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. And the Black Knights come to the line with first and goal. They'll run the option. Oh, and it's fumbled. The lateral goes wrong. Offense with a crucial fumble recovery. Well, it's a good job by the defense to force the fumble, but you have to have the collective awareness for someone to get on top of it. It's a lucky break for the offense. After a disastrous first down play, they're backed up on second and goal. Come on, set. Belly stutter. Quarterback's got it on the option. Doesn't even get the pitch up before they bring him to the ground. Well, that's the drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to this big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Looks to his left and makes the completion. And the defense wraps him up. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage, keep everything in front of you, force that quarterback to have to check the ball down, and then you rally to the football to force his fourth down. Great job here by the D. And the timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. So the coach will decide to settle for three points here. Out comes the field goal unit. He was on target with his first kick. This one is from just 26 yards out. He knocks this one right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for three, and now the kickoff. to we'll see if the opposing offense has enough time to answer before halftime. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Hokies offense is back out on the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe and point toward the second half? Caught over the middle. It's Thomas. They'll have to hurry now. Second down with the clock ticking. And he drops back in the gun. He's running out of time here. 
You make the first down and that scramble. That's a tough one for this defense to give up. Defense does a great job of taking everything away downfield. This quarterback wanted to take a shot, but nothing is there. The only problem is they didn't account for him taking off and running, so he picks up the first down. Grab down the middle. It's Thomas. That's good for a first down near the 40. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Boy, if I'm a defensive coordinator, you can't leave the middle of the field that wide open. Makes it so easy for the quarterback to read and recognize and get the ball out of his hands for a first down. It's scanning the field. It's drones. Let's it go. It's picked off again, the fourth for this QB today. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Chris, that's back-to-back -back drives now that this offense has thrown interceptions. They've got to be able to regroup on the sideline, adjust their schemes, maybe their personnel groupings and formations, try to find a new way to attack, because right now, this isn't working. He tosses it back. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. Timeout, Army. This will likely be the last play of the half. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it falls incomplete. They tried for a big chunk play on the final play of the period. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. will kick this deep and begin the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. Shifting around now. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain in that completion. And they get some positive yards here. But just from sitting up here looking down, Chris, you kind of have a sense that they wanted a little bit more on that play. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Oh, and it's incomplete and very nearly intercepted. They wasted opportunity for a much-needed takeaway there. No kick it away here. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And the Virginia Tech offense is back out on the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. To throw, it's drones. It's a short completion of the tight end. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. What a great throw here by the quarterback from Virginia Tech to be able to pick up the first down. He's able to make the right read. Nice route by the receiver. Puts the ball right on the money, and they're able to move the sticks. 
They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. The Hokies are going to take advantage of this red zone trip. And then first down, right back to the running game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, trying to create space, trying to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Second down after that run on the previous play. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. Here's a screen pass to the running back. Aiming for the end zone. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Still no answer for this offense. That's another passing strike from this quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ballgame. Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. But, man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up coverage because right now it is not working. Kick bounces out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Army offense comes back out onto the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Off the play fake on first down. It's a quick grab. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Made the catch, but he was surrounded, Kirk. Not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. We look to throw it here on second down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He picks up the first down, but gets drilled on the tackle. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. Not much on the return there, but the takeaway will give the offense the football at the 46. Boy, this quarterback's got to regroup. That's his second interception in this game right now. He's got to do a better job. But, Chris, it's easy to sit up here and say that. Could be the receiver running the wrong route. Ball sometimes can get tipped. All we know is at the end of the day, the guy pulling the trigger is responsible. Finds room at the 30. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Well, the big fellow's Kirk flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge game. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back, just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right, and then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain in the first down. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. And the ball is hauled in. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. That's a much better job by this quarterback of working through his progressions. We've seen him earlier try to force some throws, trying to make a big play. This time, works through his progressions, checks it down into the flat, and picks up some positive yards. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. We'll hand it off. Touchdown, Hokies. Still no answer for this offensive machine. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the spread, of throwing the football and the quarterback and the receivers. This is a great example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown. The extra point is good. They take a 28-27 lead. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. The offense will start at the 25. And here comes the Army offense out of the field now. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Makes a quick catch. Breaking free at the 35. Oh, and he fumbles. 
Looks like the defense has it. Well, that's why you do ball security drills almost every single day in practice. You just can't put the ball on the turf like that. But give credit to the defender for the hit. That's what caused the fumble. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And now the handoff. The gain is four, so it's second and six. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. To throw, it's drones. And he dumps it off to the tight end. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Finding space at the 20. You don't make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. He just breaks away and takes it to the house from distance. That's an elite running back type of play. You know, when he got out into the open field, I didn't know if he had the speed to take that thing all the way to the house, but he does. That's next level speed. VAT makes it an eight-point game. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. That one bounces through the end zone, so it'll start at the 25. And the Army offense comes back out onto the field. Last possession, they fumbled it away and it set up a touchdown drive. Can they bounce back from that right away? Now they're running on the toss. Breaking free at the 35. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the quarterback dropping back. He's going to pull it down and run. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Right. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. Snap motion from the offense. You give it to the big fullback here. You get him at the 42, good enough for a first down. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you got a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. It's a one-yard gain, second and nine coming up. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with, you know, defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. That's exactly what... He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. Okay, ready? They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Quarterback appears to be changing the play. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. And the pass rush has got him again, back to back sacks. Now. 
That's the end of the third quarter. The Black Knights will line up to punt it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. It's a low punt, won't travel very far. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. Tech offense is back out on the field. Crucial possession. This game just got tighter. They love to play keep away. Chew on the clock. How will they call it here? Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. Now I like to run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Second down after that run on the previous play. Scanning the field. It's drones. Moves to his left now, escaping the pocket. And the ball is knocked loose. Who's got it? The football bounces out of bounds. It'll be a short loss on the play. Oh, my gosh, Chris. You can almost feel a collective sigh of relief coming from the offensive sideline as that ball rolled out of bounds. The offense catches a break. One more awkward bounce. That ball maybe stayed. And it's intercepted. A crushing play. Going the other way, can they stop him? It's a big return off the INT. They steal their offensive possession. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Army. So they get the touchdown. Now looking for the two-point conversion to tie this one up late. Here's the snap, looking to throw. And he runs it into the end zone. The two-point try makes this a tie game during the final quarter. The kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So a touchback will start at the 25. And the Hokies offense is back out on the field. This drive is important. The last one and in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. There's the handoff. The gain is three yards. Brings up a second down and seven. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Offense getting set. It's second down. Back to pass. It's drones. Fires it to the wideout. Oh, and it's intercepted. Terrible mistake late in the game. He's got some room and some blockers here. Brings the interception all the way back. Touchdown, Black Knights. What a play here by the defense. We kept thinking this defense might have to come up with a stop to give the ball back to their own offense to see if they can maybe take the lead. But instead, they take matters into their own hands and come up with a turn on the touchdown. Here comes the return from deep in the end zone. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's a good coverage there. And the Virginia Tech offense is back out on the field. They have got to bounce back on this possession after throwing a pick six last time out here. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. That's Carr. It's Thomas. The pickup is seven yards. Now it's second and three. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Brings up second down. Second down after that completion. They're going to run it here. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. The Hokies looking to run some tempo here. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Grab behind the line. It's Thomas. They go backwards on that third down completion. Sets up a fourth down. 
Well, obviously, you're going to throw the football on third down. But, man, they complete that pass and lose yardage to set up this big fourth down. Here we are late in a one-score game, and they're going to go for it on fourth down. Looking downfield, it's Drones. And it's intercepted. Beautiful timing there. And that's a solid return after the interception. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. They feed the fullback this time. He gains nine, so it's second and one. And that is a good chunk of yardage picked up by the big guy. Sometimes you don't need a whole lot of space created for a fullback. He can simply make his own way. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And now the defense will call a timeout before this critical down just to get everybody on the same page. Can he get there on the ground? Just trucks through the defender. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. Boy, is this guy fun to watch or what? Here we are in the fourth quarter. Critical down in distances. And this guy is just churning out yards the way he has most of this game. Showing a lot of physicality and natural running instincts in space. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Army. They're setting out a try for the AT. Extra point up and good. A two-touchdown lead here now in the fourth quarter. The kickoff team on the field now is able to get set to send this one away. Trying to make a play from deep in his end zone. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Virginia Tech offense is back out on the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Bringing pressure. Sacked, dropped at the three. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. That sack sets up a second down and very long. Cut quickly. And they bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the marker. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards. I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Looking to throw it on third and very long. Looking to make a big play downfield. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. And the Hokies will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. I love to see this team fighting the way they are. Picking up a first down on that third down shows you they still believe. They still think they got a shot to come back and compete in this game. The Hokies getting set on first and ten. Back to throw. It's Drones. He's going to take another shot right here. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Hokies. Well, hold on now, Chris. We're under two minutes to go, and these guys will not go away. They hit this extra point. They cover an onside kick. You never know. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. And he makes the two-point conversion. The lead cut down to six. Well, we know this quarterback is a threat throwing the football. Here he uses his legs to get this two-point conversion. Nice call. Lined up in regular kickoff formation here. Two timeouts, final minute. I'm not sure they've done the math here. Surprised they're not going for the onside kick. He's going to return it from near the goal line. The returner coughs up the football inside their own 20. That is an incredible job by this kickoff coverage team. You don't see many turnovers on kickoffs. 
but they just gifted their offense with a bonus possession. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. Brings up second angle. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Makes the catch, can he get in? And he scores! Touchdown, Virginia Tech. What a job by this offense. They work the ball down the field, into the end zone to tie this game up. And with under two minutes to go, they're an extra point away from taking the lead. Lining up to try the extra point. And the BAT is up, and will they take a one-point lead here in the final quarter? Getting set to kick the ball off now. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Army offense comes back out onto the field. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. But his defense just hasn't had many answers for this running back. Guy's already over 100 yards on the afternoon, but give him credit there. They made a nice play in the backfield. Fires it to the wideout. Makes the catch downfield. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball at the 34. Boy, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. They'll run it here. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. Well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. They need to score quickly here, trying to dial up some big plays. They'll change the pre-snap look now. Looking to pass here on second down. Catch made on the left side. You see more and more offenses in college football going to three receivers, and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback or a linebacker walked out. Cannot get the throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this stage of the game. And the offense will spend the timeout here with 20 seconds on the clock. Offense has a ways to go to get into field goal range. They need some big plays, and time is winding down. Second down, we're going to throw it. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. And the Black Knights looking to crank up the tempo a bit. On third down, he drops to throw. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. And a timeout has taken just two seconds left on the clock. Timeout. So here we go. Down one score. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Oh, he tosses it back. Throws it to the right. And he throws his third interception of the day. And he steps out of bounds after the interception, and that will be the final play of the game. A really entertaining one. It was fun one to call. They get the W, Kirk, in a shootout. Not much to criticize for either of these teams on the offensive side, but where they put on a great show. But for the two defenses, especially the losing squad, you can't imagine their coach is too happy with their performance. 
And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.